were talking this morning about headsets they can put on you that will calm your metal chatter. I can think of a lot of meditators who'd like to have a headset like that. But then again, if the headset does all the work for you, you don't do the work. And it's in doing the work that you learn about the mind. So there is no magic pill to awakening. There's no instant insight. It comes from looking at your mind, and the best place to observe your mind is as you try to get it to settle down, both in the period of trying to get it settled down when it's not working and when it actually has settled down. You learn about a lot about the progress, <coughs> processes of fabrication. The breathing this way has this effect, thinking in this way has this effect, thinking in that way has that effect. And as you learn to deal with the problems of the mind from inside, that's where the insight comes. And that's also where the release comes. You can't put electric currents through people's brains and give them awakening. You can give them nice experience, experiences that can be blissed out or whatever, but it's not awakening. The awakening comes from understanding what you're doing and the results of what you're doing, and just getting better and better and better at that. So when you're dealing with frustration, don't think of it as a sign that you're not going anywhere. That's the issue you've got to deal with. So you face that issue and you try to figure it out. And the Buddha gives you the tools. He doesn't leave you empty-handed. You work with the breath. You work with your feelings and perceptions. You work with your ways of thinking and evaluating things, the questions you ask. And it's in learning how to adjust these forms of fabrication that you create the path. And in creating the path, you've learned a lot about the mind. At the same time, you're reducing the level of stress, the level of suffering inside the mind. So whenever you meet with problems in meditation, remember, these are challenges. And it's through working with the challenges that insight comes. You sit down and say, I'd just like to have my mind totally peaceful right now. As I said, there are headsets, headsets that can do that for you. But that's not going to solve your problems. When you take the headset off, you're back to your old ways. So be up for the challenges. It's that attitude of being up for the fight that's going to see you through. And as I say, when there's the conviction that there's a way out, this is where insight comes from. There's that list of five strengths. They start with the conviction and they end with discernment. Notice they don't start with ideas and they don't start with a mind that's already concentrated. It's the conviction that there's a way out that's going to lead to the discernment. It's like a person lost in the woods. If you don't believe there's a way out, you're not very likely to find it. If you believe there's a way out, you just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it until you do. That's the attitude that sees you through. <clears throat>